Hi, my name is Chris Ryan and thank you for joining me here at Las Colinas Golf and Country Club in Spain. This is a brand new video series called The Most Common Faults in Golf. This is four videos covering exactly as the name suggests, the most common faults that I see coaching on a day-to-day -day basis. We're gonna start with the grip in video one. Video two is going to be looking at the club face. Video three is gonna be looking at something in transition. And we're gonna finish up with video four looking at the impact. So make sure you stay tuned for all four parts. Watch them in that order. Hopefully there's something there which can help you. Let's get started with video one, looking at the grip. So thank you for joining me here at Las Colinas Golf and Country Club. And yes, this series is called The Most Common Faults in Golf. So if you're a golfer out there, not playing as good a golf as you'd like to, maybe not striking the ball as well as you'd like, maybe not just hitting it as far as you'd like, there's a very good chance that during this video series, there'll be something which applies to you. So we're going to start with this video, looking at a fault that I see all too often with how a golfer places the golf club in their hands. So in this video, we're talking about what I would call a weak or a palmy grip. So what do we mean by that? Well, by palmy, we're really talking about where the grip of the golf club is placed through the hand. We would like to hold the golf club very much in the fingers of the lead hand, as you can see there. Once I've got it right across the base of the fingers, I wrap the fingers round, and then the pad of my hand sits on top of the handle. A palmy grip will be one which sits much more through the lifeline. And when I wrap my fingers around, you can see how the pad of the hand is almost below the grip. Now, the reason that this is important is when we hold it in the fingers, we give ourselves this ability to use our wrists. A golfer who has it more in the palm would tend to find they have limited range of motion. Now, when we have limited range of motion, we find it very difficult to create any leverage. That leverage will then tend to come from either the lead arm breaking down, flexing quite excessively at the top, or sometimes the golfer will use the lead wrist and start to overly flex it this way. And this is an attempt to get some sort of leverage in the golf club, in the golf swing, I should say, to be able to hit that ball far enough down that fairway. So if you feel like that is you, you've got that kind of bent left arm, or maybe even you've just got a little bit of wrist pain on your lead side, it could well be because the grip is being held too much through the palm. Let's see if we can get it right into the base of the fingers, the pad of the hand sat on top of the grip. So that's the palmy side of it. What about the weak? Well, a weak grip would be one where the hand is rotated too, too much underneath the golf club. Strong would be too much on top of the golf club. So if we get a weak grip, we tend to find that the club face twists too much to the right in the backswing. And then what that does, it really brings in the right hand side of the golf course. The golfer will then tend, will tend to uh, compensate for that by trying to swing excessively to the left of the target, or they may even just start to release the club a little bit earlier because the more I can deliver the handle back, the more likely I am to fix that open face. Unfortunately, many of the golfers will do both. They will actually swing across to the left and they will deliver the handle back. These golfers really struggle with strike, they struggle with distance, they struggle with curve, and they struggle with consistency because sometimes they'll actually get it right and it will go head on to the left. So a T-peg is all you need to ensure that your grip is not weak. You're gonna take that T-peg, you're gonna place it between your thumb and your index finger. As you place the golf club into your hand, and I raise the club up, notice where the tee peg is. It's running straight down the golf club as I look towards the club head end. This is perfect. This is what I would class as a neutral hold. If you have got that weaker hold, you will notice that the tee peg tends to point off forward of my golf club, moreover in this kind of 20 degree angle to my left. I want to make sure that I'm holding it so the tee peg is running right down the golf club. That enables me to see two knuckles on my lead hand at address. That's telling me that my grip is neutral. So a T-peg, really, really simple. That is all you're going to need. That is one of my favorite drills for grip. I love that, very visual. And hopefully you've all got a T-peg in your golf bag. So today's video is all about the grip. Some faults that I see in the grip, too much in the palm, too weak. Unfortunately, the two do very often go together. Golfers tend to hold it in the palm, a little bit too weak. A telltale sign, if this is you, you'll find that you tend to have a little bit of a bent arm at setup. When we get it more into the fingers, and a more neutral grip, it tends to straighten out this lead arm. So if you feel that is you, let's ensure we get it in the fingers, use the pad of the hand as a reference point, and also use a T-peg to make sure that your grip is not weak. Right, so let's go ahead and hit one down here. Try to put those things into action. This is the 13th here at Las Colinas. It's a little bit of a dogleg left to right. I don't need driver, hence why I've got my three wood. 
So I'm going to see if I can just slide this one around the corner a little bit left to right. Okay, and that should be nice in position, leave myself a short iron into the green. Huge thanks to Las Colinas for hosting me for a few days. I'm sure you'll agree the course looks absolutely fantastic. I haven't had a chance to play it, but driving around to film these videos, there's definitely some interesting holes. And if you ever get a chance to get here and play, I would highly recommend it. Thank you also to yourself for watching this video. The usual stuff as always is below. There's a comments box down there, there's a like button, and there's also a button over here, which will allow you to be a free subscriber. And it means that you won't miss any of the new content coming your way. Thank you again for watching. Hopefully we'll see you back here again soon.